me, Nim Sony. Welcome back to another VR video. Today you can see me in the VR world, uh, along uh, with me in the VR world, which is brilliant. Uh, today's video takes place in this little area which I've uh, built for testing. I'm just going to do a quick pause and replay here. Just because the game is shuddering a bit. There we go. That's nice and cleaned up the issue. Uh, now, what am I doing here? Well, today's video is about locomotion. So I've just been working a little bit on the locomotion system. But uh, before I mention that, I do apologize for my uh, nice and messy uh, apartment right now. It is being lived in, so you uh, you have to understand. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not the most uh, uncluttered of spaces. Uh, now, I actually already recorded this video just now, um, about a 20 minute recording, so hopefully it should be shorter than that, but uh, even then, uh, the microphone on the Rift was set too high and I sounded like I was shouting into an old YouTube video uh, talking about piracy. Now, um, <laughs> now uh, let's have a look at the locomotion system here. So, uh, what I'm doing here is just testing a, um, uh, an amalgamation of all the little ha uh, the locomotion systems that I've been working on, at least the modes that I've been working on. This little area is just a simple place to walk around in, and as you can see I'm using my regular locomotion system right now, which is uh, based on the joysticks. So here, the, uh, the left hand joystick controls my direction, uh, you can see I'm putting it fully and you can see I don't move much uh, at all. It's entirely based on my movement in the real world as well. Now I do look a little bit funny while walking like this um, on camera, but uh, that's okay. In, uh, in game I feel perfectly fine and natural in terms of leaning most of my body weight on my left foot and then on my right foot. And uh, that's how it works. Uh, by doing that, you feel a bit like you're walking and uh, that controls your locomotion speed. And then as you move into a jog, you actually feel like you're jogging and it makes you move faster. However, that is the base locomotion system. That's the hybrid locomotion system by name. And uh, the intent there is for it to feel like you're walking or running around in the game world without losing the fidelity of a, a proper regular joystick based locomotion system. So here I can control the direction perfectly correctly. Why? Because I'm using that analog stick. But I also have more fidelity in terms of precise control of the speed. I can choose to go slowly, faster a little bit by walking and uh, go into a jog and then go into a full speed jog. Excuse me. I have been drinking a little bit of Pepsi right now. Not sponsored never will be probably but uh, there we go but that itself is is brilliant for games what about if you just wanted to walk around in the game world well i had shown something earlier on uh, in a different in a previous video which was about hybrid exploration mode and the idea with this demo build uh, is something that i'm going to put out this week i'm going to try and put this demo build itself out very soon, but I wanted to put in all the little bits and bats to, to make sure that all the options are available for you to truly test the different versions of this locomotion system. And uh, what I did is I actually amalgamated it here into this build. So you can see this blue ring where I'm standing here. This blue ring is, uh, I've placed it at the center of my play space, or sort of the center of my play space, and it decides what direction I actually walk in. So what I'm going to do for now is actually put my controllers down and press that button to reactivate this hybrid accessibility, not accessibility, but exploration mode. And uh, you can see I can just walk around the same way as before, but this time completely hands free. And uh, that's the whole point, right? If I wanted to jog around this area, I can do so. Now, the thing is with this, you can see I'm actually starting to move around in my play space into maybe less desirable areas in uh, in my room in terms of just good tracking or uh, safety problems. So what I can do here, I've added something uh, a very simple and it is the ability to rotate, uh, fake rotate within the game world. So all I'm doing is actually looking down, tilting down by a specific amount and once below there, that's the threshold here. And then I simply rotate my head in a slightly sort of quickly, quick fashion, and that's about all I have to do. It's not painful at all, don't worry, it doesn't feel uh, stress on your neck or anything like that. It's purely just looking down and turning your head. It's uh, it's not that, uh, not that difficult at all. And if you feel like it is a bit difficult, then all you have to do is look down and turn your body. 
it's uh, <laughs> it's just the same because of course the body's not tracked and that's the intent here the the idea is to be able to move around quite easily and feel like you're walking around without having to have those controllers the the point of not using the controllers is to give you the ability to walk around in this game world uh, but in the simplest way possible and still have some directional control uh, which is great so i can still walk around and choose where to go here by just simply walking around in my space i can even walk backwards if i want to like so but i don't really have to do that in a game world scenario so this could be very very simple uh, a way of walking around in vr or just experiencing a world without the need to treat it as a game uh, this is not about game level control so this is not going to be as precise as having a joystick control whether you're moving left or whether you're moving right and uh, honestly i can actually still do that so if i wanted to i could go up to this wall touch it over here run over to the left here and touch this wall over here but uh, it looks a little silly that's fine nobody ever sees you in reality unless you're on a youtube video of course um, the point being though that's not what it's all about it's more about just you being able to experience the game world without the need for those controllers so if you are using for example a quest 2 this would be excellent because then you'd have hand tracking and i am actually going to try and put that as a demo out as well so i'm going to put a, a quest 2 build out soon it's not going to be the same as this version um when i say the same it's not going to be at the same time as this one i haven't worked on any quest to work right now yet um, but i'm going to do that alongside the leap motion as well so i'm going to get myself another leap motion mine is uh, over in in the uk um, and I'm going to attach that here so that I can do that on PC as well for non-Quest builds. Uh, so this demo intended to come out this week just to allow you to test all of the locomotion options that I have uh, all in one because my main aim right now, what I've been working on is to, to put all of my systems into a very neat package. I've got a lot more that I'm working on behind the scenes which, uh, which, puts, which, which all of this stuff is, is relied upon to get to get right so there's more to come um uh, of course there's a little bit of visual changes here as well i've not finished doing so uh, there's some there's some work to go but all of this is my own textures and stuff and uh, that's what i'm working on as well just getting things to visually look nice uh, next up of course project tx is the focus right now i'm not working on anything else in particular these systems are of course intended to upgrade for for project tx and stuff and uh, and that's about it really so this is very very simple the, the idea is just to be able to walk around in a vr world in fact i can literally put my hands in my pockets very much chill and walk around like so if i wanted to i can pop my phone out have a look over here unlock it with my little fingernail uh, fingernail fingerprint uh, have a look on youtube and uh, have a look at my comments while i'm walking around in a vr forest and then switch it off put it in the pocket and carry on and go for a jog in VR. And that's the intent. That is the intent, is to, to be able to completely control everything you're doing without the need for controllers. Just to, just to make it a very convenient system to experience a game world. I've said that so many times, but that's the, that's the idea. It's not game level control. This isn't replacing games uh, locomotion systems. Now, that's not what VR is about. That's not what I was going to focus always on when it comes to vr i'm not just in it for games games by themselves brilliant if i could just have vr for games i'd still love it but vr can do so much more than games and that's my focus project tx is going to come out as uh, uh, mainly as a game demo but those physics interactions can do way more than just vr gaming and uh, once we manage to get networking to do things as high fidelity as what pre project tx is, is trying to do um then then we're gonna we're gonna have even more coming on uh, coming from vr after that point so that's the focus right now uh, thanks very much for watching this video hopefully you get a grasp of this this concept that this is not just about um about games or about the fact that there are too many boxes in my play space this is more about vr as a whole because i'm working on i i i was always going to plan on extending beyond 
VR, uh, VR games, expanding beyond VR games. The, the appropriate word is expanding. I'm completely losing it. And I think that's about right to a uh, right point to, to end this video as well. So thanks very much for watching. I know I look completely weird and I'm putting on the weight, but uh, that's what happens when you learn to cook. So uh, I shall see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.